Hello! Hello! Hello. So this one's, um. What's it called again? Level 2. Yeah, what's, what's its name again? Um. Underhalls. Underhalls, that's it, yeah. Yeah. See, here's something, right? Um, you've always noticed how uh, the differences between Doom 1 and 2's first levels, yeah, we've got the hangar in the first one, you've got the entryway in number 2. Isn't it weird how number 2, how the entryway is a lot shorter than the hangar? You've got to find that a bit unusual. Like, this is a sequel game, but the, the opening level, where some people are introduced to the you'd, game... You'd expect it to be longer. Yeah. But, then again, I can understand why, I mean... There was that podcast that John Romero did with IGN where he said uh, that he actually designed. Yeah. He actually designed uh, the first level of Doom One. He designed it last. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did it last. Yeah. Yeah, because he said he was saying about the. Because um... he says the more levels you design, the better you get at them. Which is why I think that level so iconic because it's a generally well designed level for a first level because you have that you have the view of the outside. Like, if you look to the right as soon as you start level, you've got the view there outside, you know, with the, the pool of gunk, and you get a sort of look at the skybox, and as, you know, dated as the graphics were, they sort of still looked really fucking impressive back yeah. in the 90s. You know, um... Because then, like, the remainder of the game, you're inside a lot, you're... Um... You know, you're off the sort of drab, dreary colour scheme. I mean, the game... The game has a lot more colour than it lets on, I think. I'm really struggling here, my friend. Yeah, you, yeah you want to be careful. What should we do if we die then? Should we just like reload or should we just like... Oh my god! Keep going. Oh my goodness. I should be fine. Touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So the one thing I want to say to the people at id Software, I mean I know John Romero doesn't work for id Software anymore. Yeah. But the people that handle the game... Oh, it'd be Bethesda then, really. Wouldn't it? It'd be Zenimax Media. I yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> What I'd love to say to Bethesda is, guys, we need a portable version again, because the last portable version we had was the Game Boy Advance one, and, or, well, okay, apart from the Game Boy Advance one, there was the the uh, iPhone version and stuff like that, and that was alright, but it's still a bit tricky to control first-person shooters with a touchpad unless it's one of those real shooters, like, in fact, I think Doom Resurrection, the one that was sort of made in the Doom 3 universe, that actually was a bit better than the Doom Classic for the, the iOS. But, yeah, before that, we had the Game Boy Advance versions of Doom 1 and 2, which, you know, it did have heavily cut content, and had green blood, and disappearing monsters, and... But, apart from that, when you look over... <coughs> when you overlook those, um... shortcomings, I suppose you call them, they were fucking good. Yeah, can you remember when we... We used to do the... I mean, before I sold mine, remember we used to, we used to like, do the co-ops and stuff like that for half the games and all that? Yeah. yeah. That was hilarious. Oh! And it was the best part was the fact that it was portable. Yeah. So what I'd love to propose to Bethesda... If they ever is... watch this. <laughs> they might. <laughs> I'm a charismatic sod. <laughs> no. Is if they port it to something like the Vita or the 3DS. Can you imagine this in 3D? 3D. That would be... I, I would actually but... have a massive stiffy. Everybody who didn't have a 3DS would probably buy a 3DS to play this, and it oh, would, and you could play it. It could connect online. You can do online co-op with your friends. You could do online death matches. You could do local death matches and co-op, whatever you want to do. But to have this, it doesn't even have to be a retail gate. Oh, oh, slippy slidey. Did the cleansman <laughs> on his back? Backslide racing. Oh, why? But to have that, it doesn't even have to be a retail title. You could just have it as an app. I mean, Doom. Whichever way you slice it, the original Dooms have never been that big in size, have they? No, they have not. So imagine that. So Bethesda or id, if you're watching this, we need another portable version that's not on a phone. We need Doom to come back on modern handheld. On a modern handheld with actual fascia buttons, not like this this touchscreen stuff. Is that you? Yeah. So Quite yeah. At the moment. So yeah, please, Bethesda, id, if you're listening. Thank you.